What's going on, everybody? I'm going to talk over the intro here because I really don't care, and I do not think you do. If you've been watching my videos, you don't really care about the story. Now, hear me out. Um, this is the last part of the series, and you know what that means? My first completed series on YouTube. Jeez, I've tried doing so many, and I never closed them. We do not care. But anyway, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. What better way to start it than this kick-ass transition? They have a lot of these in the game. Remember uh, old Vanguard's campaign? The transitions were kind of... Yeah. To the last mission. That was good. Anyway, that's not the point. Look at this view. Beautiful. May even use this for a thumbnail. Most likely will now that I'm looking at it. But if you recall from the last episode, which I do not, but I'm going to try to explain it for the best of my memory, we got told by the one chick that there was uh, another missile here. So we're going to stop all that from happening. I tried getting a better look from the edge here about the view and everything, and I, I tripped. I actually did not mean to do this for once, so found it kind of funny. So we get ready to rappel down and walking down the building. It is a little disorienting at first. It felt very crazy to look around. But every time I have a scene like this in a game or movie or something, I always think back to one of the old 007 like, games on uh, PS2. And it was very... Very fun at the time. I do not even know if many people played it. Kind of feels crazy now that I'm looking back on it. Oh, and I missed my stop and skipped over the hostages. <laughs> and with my very thought out, silent, strategic gameplay here, I took out everybody without a hitch. Is that the right saying? Hutch? Hitch? Hitch, yeah. Uh, except this guy. This guy did not want me alive. Clear the area before you move. Yeah, I know, Price, but you have to let me get out of sight before I can do that. You know, you just stay quiet and let soap clean this up. Yeah, washing his mouth down and his, and I'm pretty sure I'm done. No? Alright, let's get back to the dishes. Alright, I'll stop making soap jokes now. Eh. Sorry, they're just too clean for my comedy, honestly. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I found out that you jump on here, and I changed my mind. No longer reminds me of 007, it reminds me of uh, that mission from GTA. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? And just like the podcast coming up, it started with an explosion, and we're uh, entering with a bang. Then exiting right after, just like my old podcast. I only do one episode, just kidding. We'll try to stay consistent. Enough plugging, though. So now that we're in, we're clearing several rooms of enemies, wearing masks, holding shotguns, and making me reset a lot, making me speed run back to where I was originally, and spent about 15 minutes. I'd never really struggled up until this point, but that's beside... It's, I want to say point again, but I feel like that's just going to sign off. But I don't have to worry too much, because luckily for y'all, it's YouTube. I can edit all my fails out and make y'all think that I'm way better at the game than I was. Think about my montages. Three minutes, um of content that took me three weeks to get um yeah platinum on uh, snipers tomorrow by the way if i upload look how in the zone i was on this part Yvonne Hassan, control room is a dry hole. Ghost, you got anything? Of course he doesn't, but if you didn't hear there, he wasn't in here, so we gotta find him, and I'm glad the outcome is the way it is in the end. Alright, so no, we're not running down the stairs, we're doing the badass approach, and that's going out the window. Made you look, broke your ankles, I know you thought I jumped. I missed the part where we uh, had another badass approach in the window, but I think you don't need six or seven of those in... A uh, 10 minute video, or 7, however long this video is going to be. Uh, granted, it's one mission. The other ones were two at least, so it's a lot shorter. But you don't care about any of that. Let's get through killing these enemies. To be honest, I'm only talking about stuff because I have nothing else to talk about through this 29 second clip. And I thought y'all would want to see more gameplay than just me making jokes that are uh, very shitty and narrating the whole thing. So, yeah. Okay, after seeing that, you cannot say any of my checks corners better than I do. Oh shit, I missed the part where um, 
the missile actually launches. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, but we're here now. So, yeah. But because I feel bad, I'll give you this instead. You broke in. I'm good. Go, you got this. So, let's move. Watch out. As everybody wants to do in their life, I get to scale um, elevators. Almost forgot what it was called. Elevator shafts, actually. Oh, well, big boom. Uh, maybe that compensates better than the house thing. Oh, drop my gun. Something's about to go very wrong. I'm already guessing. What now, exactly? Oh, that's a... Oh, hey, I got him. Guys, oh, I don't look too good. Yo, pause real quick. I need to heal up. Long story short, um, I got chased down, I got hidden, I got this, and now I'm doing the most realistic hacking you've ever seen where I press two buttons and cancel a missile or redirect a missile. I know it's insanely accurate to real life. Something that does kind of suck, however, is uh, you cannot kill people in this mission without getting some sort of blade or something. And I tried hiding behind this door, but his, you know, x-ray vision, he's seen right through it to me. And, um, I sat here for a minute, beating him, and him doing the same to me. He got above me. I, I couldn't get out of this. I had, to, um, wait, I don't remember what I did to get out. Let's find out together, I guess, shall we? Um, oh, yeah, the lockers do not exist, so that's how I got out. And then this part here, um, I noticed it didn't really matter because I tried prying this open and got shot from someone else. And then when I was dolphin diving, I died and my body flung across the room. But then I made mines, got me a box cutter and some smoke bombs, and I just started killing everybody. Easy peasy. Now, um, bathroom vents are an easy way to sneak past people. See? They would never know where I went. I tried, like, banging on the walls and stuff, hoping they would hear me and, you know, run into my traps, but... Um, don't remember what I did. Oh, yeah, see, I'm trying to get his attention, and then I uh, didn't have to sneak up on him, apparently, so I just took him out there, and then died. I... Uh, wait. Cutscene. Oh! You thought I tackled you earlier. And just like thousands of other Call of Duty players, he died by me quickscoping him. That's a great way to end it off. Later. Chicago last night, due to severe winds, leaving thousands of residents in the dark. Electricity is expected to be restored by this evening. In other CIA shit. <clears throat> Creative writing. I'll never tell. AQ. Iran. Cartels, Russians, Shepard, Shadow. They got past us. We had a head start. It's cutting the heads off snakes. And he's on the Shepard. Totally off the grid. Oh, we'll find him. We've got bigger fish. I've done some digging on the Russians. Well, that's a dirty job. Ultra nationalists ambushed that convoy, John. Okay, this is over. No, it's not. They're working with someone new. Mm. We don't know his name. He's not bad. Hope you enjoyed, guys. We got a podcast coming out relatively soon. Come check it out. It's uh, going to be on Spotify and YouTube. Separate channel, though. See ya.